So we're at a place called um, Sitavia, I think, uh, del Toro. And I saw it on the hill. I was kind of uh, driving along that road and I just saw it and I thought, wow, that looks amazing. Wasn't in the guidebook. You've got this whole town here clinging to a hill beneath a majestic fortress. So I thought, do you know what? That looks like really worth having a look at. So we drove on up to it um, and it's one of the most incredible places I've been in years. This fortress is absolutely enormous. It was uh, There was a medieval castle here, but it was built in uh, the 1560s after the locals withstood a siege. So to say thank you, they, they built this um, immense fortress so they would with, with, withhold the next siege. And um, it was improved again in 1734. And it was besieged twice. It was besieged in 1806 uh, by Napoleon's troops. The Bourbons were defending it, defended by an Irish general named Wade. And uh, then in 1861 against the Piedmontese. And, you know, it's just impregnable. I mean, it, it, it's just this stunning piece of military engineering. And, um, and the town around it is gorgeous. Uh, if anywhere, it reminds me of Girocastra uh, and its fortress. Um, really remarkable place. And what's so amazing is this whole thing. I mean, look at it. It's not even deemed important enough to go into the guidebook. It's gorgeous anywhere else. And this would be like one of the country's main attractions. So this is Sitavia del Toro. Unbelievable. We are now in Ascoli. This is the uh, main square. Very pretty. That city uh, that's uh, twinkling away in the distance there is Assisi and so we now have reached the end of the day and we, we have got to Assisi and we're in uh, a campsite as you can see we've, we've actually booked in for two nights it's uh, a tad classier than the uh, last one we went to um, it's slightly more expensive as well um, and um, we're going to explore Assisi tomorrow we've done a lot of driving today uh, over 300 kilometers um, but a lot of it uh, through very beautiful mountain uh, scenery 
we stopped first of all at the the castle that um, I made the videos on earlier, Citavera uh, uh, del Toro, I think it was called, and that was just somewhere we saw by the side of the road. And I thought, well, that might be interesting. Had a look, and it was absolutely incredible. It blew my mind. Um, both the both the town and the castle itself. Um, then we went on to Ascoli, uh, which was where I'd planned to stop. Ascoli was, um, we, we parked on the outskirts and I actually thought it was right by the centre and then we ended up walking ages and ages through pretty drab outskirts. And I'm thinking, well, wh why is this place rated in the guidebook? Because it's not actually that special. But then you cross over the river, which is really beautiful, and you go into the historic heart and it's pretty mind blowing. And there we, we got to the main square and I thought, well, oh, this is great. And then later found that wasn't the main square. There was another one that was even better. Um, really really beautiful place uh, and I guess the only problem with all that is you know I talked earlier that we got what I called Deutsche Stadt fatigue where like kind of got a bit fed up with German towns no matter how brilliant they were well I I don't feel we're appreciating these Italian towns because there's just so many of them and they're all gorgeous uh, really special long drive after that we stopped very briefly at a place called um Aqua Santa de Therm, uh, because I'd seen it on the map, thought the thermal baths, you know, holy, holy thermal spring, essentially, is what the name means. Uh, you know, that's worth a look. But unfortunately, the only, the only thermal place was in a hotel, and it looked expensive, so we didn't stop. Drove through a very interesting mountain area where everything looked horrendously poor and knackered. And it was only after a while I thought, this is not, this isn't just poverty. Um... Like, something's happened here. There were so many broken houses, broken buildings. They were repairing the road. We had to go kind of off-piste for a while. I think there was an earthquake. And I seem to recall there was an earthquake in central Italy not that long ago. And I think we went through the heart of the area that was... Because buildings were cracked down the side. There was loads of abandoned houses. There was one whole town that looked almost abandoned. It was pretty horrific. And it was like going through a war zone. It was worse than anything I'd seen in the Balkans, kind of thing. You know, when I was in Bosnia and stuff. I think it was an earthquake. I, I really do. I've got to check that out, where the, the, the last Italian earthquake was. Driving into a city, absolutely gorgeous scenery. Just makes me want to sing Brother, Sun, Sister, Moon. It's so beautiful. Uh, and so quite excited about going, um, going and having a look tomorrow. Uh, interestingly, one of the towns we went through also said it was the birthplace of St. Benedict, so this is like all the holy big hitters seem to be hanging around here. But in the meantime, Tom's cooking some tea, going to do a bit of washing, we're going to settle down, and uh, that's it for now. Keep travelling.